circuit from a 12 volt lead acid battery charger. This is the schematic and there is a lot to tell about that circuit. I pan over somewhat first and want to explain that much more later. Of course it's impossible to uh, know what happens in this circuit with this uh, quick pan over anyway. Here is the circuit in real. And perhaps it's good to tell first some things about that circuit. Here is the main transformer here. 12 volt 6 ampere. Here the bridge rectifier. 15 ampere and has to handle say 6 ampere depends on the transformer. And here another transformer that drives the fan that cools it all. Here's a fan, computer fan, uh, supplied uh, with DC, with a bridge rectifier and a capacitor. And it cools here that big cooling plate and also the, uh, the air goes around the transformer so that it's cooled. That's absolutely necessary. And here the Schmidt trigger. Of course, uh, not uh, visible how it all works, but anyway, it's a Schmidt trigger with a relay, and the relay is here, and that relay is activated when the battery, the lead acid battery, reaches a certain voltage, and it switches off at three voltages that can be set with the help of this knob and in fact this is a switch with three series resistors. Now it's charging. This LED is bridged to the relay so that it charges and of course important to tell uh, to the uh, car battery there is a diode. You can use a silicon diode has to be a type that can be cooled on a heatsink or a computer diode and I want to explain that later. Here is by the way the battery that's charged <coughs> and here is the voltage at the moment 14.33 volts and I'm sure it will switch off very quickly. So let's go back to the electronic schematic it's charging with 2 amperes by the way. Of course that depends when the battery is discharged. You will see 4 ampere or 5 ampere anyway. Let's go back to the circuit. Here is that main transformer uh, that supplies the charge current. Here is a switch and the main switch is activated by the Schmidt trigger here. This Schmidt trigger uh, serves two relays. One is um, here. It switches off the mains supply. And the other one is this one. Uh, switch 3. And switch 3 is also in this circuit and that's this switch. So here we have a power uh, transformer with a power um, heat sink and a bridge rectifier etc etc and here the charge current flows and when the battery is fully charged we have a sense line here and when the sense line receives a too high voltage, this switch opens and at the same time the 230 volt switch opens too. Both open and that means that the whole circuit does not get uh, any supply voltage. 
I used a second transformer here to uh, supply the cooling fan that was necessary. And I've explained that in another video on my YouTube channel. I could not take the cooling fan supply out of the main transformer because the voltage dropped too much and the, the charge current got too low. The Schmidt trigger is here. It was published in another video from say two weeks ago. And here you can see how the um, switch voltage was reached with a, a few resistors here and a few resistors here and here that switch. And when you study this you can see that the switch voltage is extremely critical and in a very low ohms range. So here I have three uh, resistors that set the different switch voltages and they are here. 14.5, 14.1 and 13.2. They switch on one hundredths of a volt, by the way. The Schmidt trigger of course has to be supplied with a stabilized voltage, otherwise uh, it is not possible to measure uh, a voltage on the sense line. That sense line is here. And uh, that's the reason why I used here a 7812, the classical 12 volt, volt uh, stabilizer chip. Very popular, by the way, and very useful in this application. And here is that Schmidt trigger. You have to set this potentiometer in the middle position, do some experiments when you want to use this circuit. And I want to say it's not a beginner's circuit because of the critical voltage where the uh, Schmidt trigger has to switch off. So you have to do some experiments and to that sense line here you can also uh, connect a voltage supply between say 12 volt and 15 volts very very slowly lift up that voltage in the sense line till the Schmidt trigger starts to switch the voltage off. A bridge to this, the relay coil, there is a light emitting diode. Here are two diodes and I've um, made that um, by purpose because otherwise the circuit didn't work. There's also no uh, diode here parallel to the uh, the relay coil because this combination can handle a lot of voltage and um, a diode here uh, deteriorates the 